Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org and is HD just not crisp enough for you? Well, we may have the solution with our look today at the Eufy Indoor Camp 2K. In today's look, the Eufy Indoor Camp 2K. We're gonna look at some pros and cons, its design, its feature set, the installation process, its customer support, the mobile app experience, answer some FAQs before letting you know exactly who we think this product is for. Now, if you'd like to read my full comprehensive review on the Eufy Indoor Camp 2K, head on over to security.org. Org. There, you'll not only find my full written review on the Eufy 2K, you'll also see comparisons with other cameras, along with tips and guides on how to set up your smart, secure home. Let's kick off today's look at the Eufy 2K, going over some pros and cons, beginning with the pros. Now, the Eufy 2K comes with just that 2K. Tired of 1080? Well, bump it up. 2K crisp, clear video quality. And that continues into that night vision because it's eight infrared LEDs. And no matter if it's day or night, you're gonna capture all of it because it has a 125 degree field of view. Now beyond that, you're looking at advanced artificial intelligence. So yes, human comes in the room, it's gonna pick it up. But if a pet comes in the room, it can pick that up and distinguish between the human and the pet, and even between all other motion in general. So it really bringing a lot to the table when it comes to, you know, some little artificial intelligence qualities. And finally, it has continuous recording available. And continuous recording, you know, is always good and great, but it's different with the Eufy 2K because you're talking about a 128 gigabyte SD card storage capacity. So whereas most cameras top out at 64 gigabytes, you're looking at double that with your Eufy 2K. Now when it comes to cons with your Eufy 2K, I do wanna point out that that 2K resolution is not really always gonna be available for you. If you have continuous recording or you're using cloud recordings, it's just gonna do 1080p. But if you do a manual recording or if you go and get an event recording, that will be in that 2K quality. And let's look at the pros and cons on the Eufy 2K. time to talk about design. And the Eufy 2K kind of contends with that trend of compact, small, trendy cameras. Uh, you know, not anything wrong with that, honestly. I, I like the design. You know, your typical white casing, your black front, status LED on the front. Uh, you've got your speaker on the back and you got a two meter uh, USB cable. In this case, I'm sorry, micro USB cable that you're gonna place in the back to kind of get that wired uh, feel because this is not a, you know, wireless system, but it does come with mounting hardware. So you can decide to put that in more discreet locations, but generally speaking, pretty small. And overall, I'm a fan of the design on the Eufy 2K. Well, hold on, I hope you're enjoying today's look at the Eufy Cam 2K. If you wanna be kept up to date on the newest in digital and home security, subscribe to our channel, security.org. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, now I've been waiting for it. I know you've been waiting for it. Let's jump into the feature set on the Eufy 2K. First, with that 2K resolution, you're talking really solid video quality. Uh, Eufy 2K bringing a lot to the table. Uh, so overall, really impressed with that. Foreground, background, you can see uh, my associate's dog uh, really clearly. And when you're looking at night vision, boom, still stays with that nice bit of clarity with eight infrared LEDs. And you know, when it comes to the inside especially, I'm really okay with 125 degree field of view. I think that really captures most of what's taking place in any given space. The Eufy 2K also comes through when it comes to audio. You have that two-way capability. So you can hear people in the room and they can hear you if you need to have a conversation or you need to say, hey, you know, stay away from that space uh, in particular. Gabe, this Eufy 2K is pretty good. On top of that, it also has a really loud siren uh, that you can decide how you want to be triggered. And I can definitely know that it is alarming. 
So what else? Well, how about AI? The UV2K is actually bringing a lot to the table when it comes to artificial intelligence. Of course, it can see humans, but it can also see pets. Uh, it can distinguish between humans and pets, and it can distinguish between humans, pets, and other types of motion. And this is not just for visual. It also can hear different things. So it can, of course, listen for a specific zone, what's going on. Uh, it can also listen specifically just for babies. This is one of the cool features that I find with the UV2K. The other one is the fact that it actually gives you the option to record your own pet command. So if I would like to see when my pet has made it to a particular zone that I don't want it to be in, I could have the camera use my own voice to, you know, tell very sweetly my puppy that it's not allowed in that particular place. Now, relating to that, let's talk about motion detection more broadly. With the Eufy 2K, you have a lot of flexibility with motion detection. Of course, motion detection just means that something's detected, it starts to record. But with the Eufy 2K, you can decide where it's gonna start to record. So you have multiple activity zones that you can set up with the camera. You can even decide how much sensitivity you want in terms of the motion. Do you want it to be something really brash that sets it off or will any, you know, simple wind really have your UV 2K recording that action? And finally, you can decide what it records. I'm talking about humans, pets, or just all motion altogether. Now, when it comes to notifications with the UV 2K, you're probably gonna put in a little bit of effort to make sure you're getting exactly what you want because you do have a lot of flexibility. For example, you can decide what you're notified of, be it people, pets, or all motion, or you can even decide how you're gonna get that content pushed to you. You can decide, you know what, I would like a thumbnail with each uh, different notification that I receive, and you'll get that directly on your phone. Now this leads us to our next feature, which is modes. Now modes, of course, come with your default modes like home, away, disarmed, but you also can make your own modes, like a vacation mode where your uv 2 k is completely ready to be triggered by the slightest Thing. or you can even create your own custom schedule. So you get a lot of flexibility out of modes with the ability to create your own device rules. All right, so now you've got a lot of fun footage and at least I hope it's fun footage. You've got your dog running back and forth. You've got you slipping, uh, you know, on a recently uh, mopped floor and you wanna share it with your friends. So how do you access and really manage that storage? Well, it's actually pretty easy. They basically allow you to, of course, live stream. You can go directly beside that live stream and hit playback. And they make it easy for you to download all of these clips. You can even go into your events tab and the events tab has everything there. And what I like about that tab is it also gives you the ability to actually filter uh, by date along with what you're looking for. So if I'm looking only for videos of my dog uh, at a certain time, I can do that, just pets, or I can just do humans, or I can do all motion. So you have a lot of flexibility when accessing your footage and downloading, sharing, and deleting those clips is just as easy. No laborious process here with the Eufy 2K. Again, the storage options with the uv 2 k are pretty solid. We're talking about the ability to support up to 128 gigabyte SD card. Now you have to buy that of course, but that's double what most cameras are offering these days if they offer local storage at all. So you're talking about continuous recording, that's not gonna go for two, three, four days. We're talking about significant continuous recording. On top of that, you have the ability to sign up for cloud storage. You're talking 299 for 30 days of rolling storage storage, but if you'd like the full details on cloud storage, head on over to our written review at security.org. So ultimately when it comes to the feature set on this tiny little package, it's pretty impressive. Now let's talk about the installation process with the Eufy 2K. And frankly, I was really relieved at how easy of a process it was. I simply downloaded the Eufy security app to my mobile device. I created my account and then I just basically scanned a QR code on the device itself and just went through the setup process. I had the entire thing ready to go within five minutes. Now you can of course mount it uh, wherever you'd like to see it, uh, but that's not something that you have to do. You can really just place it on a shelf or a bookcase and it's gonna capture most everything taking place in your space. Now, what goes hand in hand with the installation process? Well, that's gonna be customer support. Now with Eufy, it is useful to know that you can get in touch with them with the, the more traditional manners. You're talking email, 
chat, uh, even a phone call can get you some answers. But what's interesting about Eufy is that they actually have most of their articles and guides available through the mobile application itself. Whereas typically I would direct myself to the website of any particular product or camera. Um, with Eufy, you're gonna actually have little question marks in the top of your page when you're inside the mobile application that's really pertinent to whatever you're looking at. So if I have a question about modes, there's probably gonna be a space that explains modes to me in the upper right hand corner. So I actually kind of like that because it really gives you that visual in the moment when you're there and you're not really going back and forth between devices. And that's how customer support works with your Eufy 2K. All right, you're here, my iPhone is here. Let's talk about the mobile app experience with the Eufy Security app. Now it's really swinging for the fences. It has a 4.7 out of five star rating in the Apple App Store and a 4.5 out of five star rating in the Google Play Store. So iPhone, Android users alike seem to be rejoicing with their Eufy Security app. But let's go ahead and dive in on my iPhone 11. So here I am checking out the Eufy 2K in the Eufy security mobile application. Now we have a couple of cameras set up. Uh, unfortunately, they're both called living room, but let's go ahead and give you a little behind the scenes action looking at this live shot of me here. So there you are, uh, I got a live shot. You can see a few different options below. I can speak directly uh, to myself. I don't wanna do that. I can turn off the sound uh, in that space so it doesn't you know, echo or anything of that nature. I can set the alarm off, I can record. I can even take a screenshot of what's happening. But what if I wanna check out things that have happened before? Well, let's go look at our playback options. So I go in and go to playback and then I can see what happened on previous dates. So if I wanted to go back, look at you know people petting their dog, uh, whatever's clever, you know, uh, all these things are available. And even here you have the options as well to download, share, um, delete, or record video. Now you have a lot of different options when it comes to your device. And let's look at that in the settings themselves. Now I can of course have the camera on and off. I can have that status LED on and off. I like to have that auto night vision. I personally, you know, didn't want to have the watermark on, but let's jump into your motion detection because you really have a lot of um, customization options here. You can, uh, of course, toggle motion detection on and off to begin with. You can go and look at your activity zone. And so that actually lets you decide, well, how much space? So here's this room, for example, if I wanted to actually change the activity zone, I could do so. I could say, all right, just let me know when someone comes through the door. Don't let, if someone's already in there, I don't wanna know anything about it. And boom, now I save that. And now that's my new activity zone. So I really like that uh, ability to have some power with what I'm doing with the Eufy 2K and the Eufy security app. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is, well, what type of object do I wanna detect? Do I wanna detect every time the little whippet comes into the room? Uh, no, I, I, I may not want to, you know? Or I wanna definitely know when any person comes into the room. Or do I just wanna know when anything comes into the room? Uh, be it a person, a pet, or you know, whatever's clever. Uh, so you have a lot of flexibility there, along with deciding what level of sensitivity you're going to employ when it comes to motion detection. Now, beyond that, you also have the ability to turn on sound detection. So it can be um, all sound or it can just be a crying baby. So, you know, if I'm watching, um, you know, nieces or nephews or cousins, yeah, at this point I can decide, I only wanna know when there's, you know, uh, crying happening in this room, then I'll make sure I go upstairs and attend to whatever's going on. You can change that sensitivity. So you really have a lot of flexibility in motion and sound detection, which frankly is not something we see a ton of in this space, uh, which I, which is nice. Now, this is a really fun part as a uh, new, new pet owner. Um, they have this option for you to actually give pet commands. So this means the camera will automatically play audio whenever a pet is detected uh, in the activity zone. Now, you can even decide what response you give to the pet. So you can decide, all right, I'm going to, um, you know, use this activity zone. Okay, it was in this zone. Now I want to actually tell it to get off the couch. So maybe your person is not your cow, uh, your dog on the couch. We say, all right, hey, you know you're not allowed to be here. You know you're not allowed to be on the couch. And you can record, I think, up to 10 seconds um, with your auto response. Uh, personally, 
I'm okay generally with my dog being on the couch. It's the bed that I personally, I'm no, no to that because that's how you end up at the chiropractor. Now, you can continue here and look at your recording settings. So you can decide, you know, you'd like to continuous record. Of course, with the continuous recording, you have to have that SD card installed, or you can decide to just schedule. Uh, and so from here, you can decide, decide, okay, I want weekdays or weekends from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, using that nice military time. I can say, okay, let's just say Tuesdays and Thursdays only days from nine to five. Now I've saved that. Now that's the schedule I have when it comes to um, recording with my Eufy 2K. Below that, you'll see you can even go into your various video quality. So this is gonna tell you what the image quality is gonna be like when you're uh, you know, watching that live stream or when you're recording. Now, some of this is gonna be dependent on whether or not you're using cloud storage or you're manually streaming or you are using just motion detection. So that's something to keep in mind uh, when you're looking at the Eufy 2K. It doesn't necessarily mean it's always gonna be that 2 K footage. Now, if I go into my audio settings, I can decide to have my microphone on and off. Remember, of course, audio recording is not always legal, so you're gonna be careful that you're um, keeping in mind what you can do in your state when it comes to one way recording another human being. And then you can, of course, turn your speakers on or off uh, however loud you'd like them to be. Now, you also have notification settings. And you look at your notification settings, you can decide what type of detection you'd like to be notified of. Now, I personally don't stress too much about my puppy and what it does, but uh, not everyone in the house feels that way. They wanna be notified whenever the puppy goes into any particular space. So then you have the options to actually get notified on that pet, uh, on motion, and even crying and sound as we talked about before. Um, so it's a really useful way to help cut down the number of notifications coming to your phone so you're not constantly having to worry about uh, what's taking place inside of the house because you decided, okay, when I get this notification, this is something that I actually care about. And you can even have the interval, and, and that means the time between the event notification and recording uh, in terms of minutes, you can decide what that's gonna be for you. And there's a few like kind of global changes you can make when it comes to notifications. You can have it be like the most efficient, you can get the full effect, uh, you can even include the thumbnail. So you can get a notification where it's gonna show you a picture of your dog being on the couch like it's not supposed to be. Uh, so that's a really useful element of the Eufy security app, something I particularly like, um, especially all this pet stuff has been really useful for me as of late. Now, if I go back out to the general Eufy security page, you get a shot of what's going on in that moment. You can look at your events, so the various videos uh, that are taking place. You can decide uh, just to look at the videos, you can look at alerts, or you can just jump into the devices themselves under security. And here you actually have some flexibility. So you can actually make up your own mode. So you have the typical modes that we've become accustomed to with a, um, a home indoor security camera, like home and away, but I went ahead and made a party one. I mean, not really partying uh, these days very much, but I have a party and you can disarm it or arm it. You've got a schedule um, and you can of course just customize. So if I wanna have, you know, no alarms going off, I can call this uh, sleepy time and boom. Now this is not, this is gonna be uh, when the camera alarm is not going off. It'll still record video, it'll still push notification, but there's gonna be no camera alarm going off, so I'm not woken up. Um, and that's maybe for when I wanna, you know, see when something happens at night, but I'm feeling quite safe in the moment. I'm just waiting for someone maybe to come home or something of that nature. So you really get a lot of flexibility out of your system with the Eufy security app. Right, that's it. Let's go ahead and answer some frequently asked questions about the Eufy 2K. Beginning with our first question, does the Eufy 2K have AI? And yes, the Eufy 2K does come with some rather advanced artificial intelligence features, beginning with the ability to distinguish between not only humans and pets, but human and pets and other um, motion, along with some solid sound detection, like the ability to distinguish between babies crying and other types of sound. The second question, 
does the Eufy 2K have continuous recording? And yes, the Eufy 2K does come with continuous recording with the help of an SD card, which can be up to 128 gigabytes. Final question is, is the Eufy 2K any good? And I would have to say that it is good. My team and I, uh, we actually had a couple of Eufy 2Ks that we used over a couple of weeks. And frankly, it worked really well, it has a pretty robust feature set, bringing a lot to the table at a very affordable price. So I can definitively say that yes, it is a good indoor camera. We've done a lot today in our look at the Eufy Indoor Cam 2K. You're wondering, Gabe, exactly who is this camera for? What distinguishes it between other cameras? Well, I'm gonna let you know it's for the person who wants that 2K video resolution. It's bringing a lot to the table. You're gonna be able to see every single dimple uh, on whoever happens to be in your house's face. Now, on top of that, it's just a rather affordable device, bringing a ton when it comes to artificial intelligence and motion notification customization for just $39.99. Finally, it is bringing a lot when it comes to storage options. If I wanna have a 128 gigabyte SD card in there for continuous recording, I can do that. If I wanna sign up for cloud storage, I can do that as well. And also that isn't too spendy. So it's really bringing a lot to the table. And I think for that consumer concerned with these elements of an indoor cam, the Eufy 2K is the way to go. So that's our look at the Eufy Indoor Cam 2K. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you appreciate today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at security.org. Be secure.